Hey guys, welcome to day 116 of my carnivore journey. Welcome. And if you're new to the channel, this is just my vlog of my daily um, carnivore journey. I, I come on here every day, tell you what I ate, how I feel. And of course, about every 30 days, we do some updates and measurements and all that kind of stuff, which we are now only four days away from the next set of measurements. We're coming in on day 120, which will be this Monday. All right, guys, um, just want to give you a quick update. So went out to dinner today. Um, I actually ate quite a bit of food um, for what I normally do. Like I, I had um, two hot dogs today, but then later, like I had those hot dogs probably around like one o'clock. And then I actually about two hours later, I had a, a meat stick and um, a small bag of pork skins. And that was actually quite filling. And then me and my family decided to go to the Mexican buffet. They have a taco bar. Um, and of course, uh, here's the picture of what I ate. And if you can see shrimp, meat, um, the shrimp is cooked. I mean, you know, look, is there going to be trace amounts of things that are not like carnivore friendly? Of course there is, guys. When you go out to eat, you do the best you can, but it's not going to, you know, when you take in those small amounts, it's not like I'm doing, I'm not doing that every day. So just keep that in mind. But I picked out some shrimp and meat with some cheese and sour cream, you know, and I did have a little bit of salsa um, on some of my meat, just to be completely transparent with you. So slightly keto style. Uh, but no taco shells, no chips, no flour tortillas, no none of that stuff. So I'm quite proud of myself. And so I just wanted to be able to tell you guys, hey, if you go out to eat, there's ways that you can, can get around it. And it didn't bother me to not eat tacos the normal, like like with a corn tortilla, like a hard shell or flour tortilla. And it, trust me, I'm... Tacos is one of my number one favorite foods. I mean, for God's sake, I've been working on a taco meat recipe for 20 years. So um, believe me when I say I love my tacos. But again, my, my priorities have changed. Just like I tell you guys, man, carnivore really changes you and it changes your perspective. The more you go, the, just the less priority all those old foods all those processed or, or just all those foods that you know are going to make you feel bad. They just, the priorities melt away. I'm telling you a lot of love um, from you guys in the comments still. So thank you guys for all your comments. So I appreciate you guys when you pop in there and you just, sometimes you guys give me an update on, on how your journey's going. Sometimes you guys have a question. Sometimes you're just like, Hey, keep it up. Good job. And I love all those comments and I try to give you guys some hearts and stuff back. So trying to send some love back to you guys because you really are keeping me going. I'm telling you, it really helps me out a lot in journey. Uh, today, as far as feeling wise, um, all in all, pretty good. Um, I want to say energy wise was decent, pretty good, pretty good amount of energy. Um, let's see, last night did I have anything? Oh, I did have a late night snack too last night. So probably ate a little more in the last 24 hours than I have in a while. I had a late night snack. Um, my wife and I had a hard time sleeping. It was probably like five in the morning too. And I knew I had to get up for work in, um, around 930. But like my wife's just like, hey, go make us a snack plate. <laughs> And so she had like a little turkey sandwich and I had a f some sliced cheese. Um, I had probably like two ounces of cheese sliced up. Um, probably about a dozen pepperonis that I had from not that long ago uh, in the fridge. And oh, I threw in some bacon chips. I just threw like a, I just took a pinch of some bacon chips I had left over and just threw them on my plate. Um, so I don't even know how to calculate that up. So in, in the comments, in the description down below, I normally list everything I ate. I'm going to try to be close, but pretty much 
what you guys see in the uh, saw in the picture that's what i ate i did go back and have one more little um maybe scoop of meat if you will not even that much it was just like one little spoon of meat when i say spoon i mean like a serving spoon like a big spoon um but like one kind of scoop with just a little more cheese and sour cream that was it but other than that that's all i ate today um uh, <laughs> that's all i ate but it's a lot it's a lot in the last 24 hours for for me so how am i feeling right now i'm pretty stuffed but i'm not still not uncomfortable i'm not bloated you know um i don't have the normal uncomfort level of of full i used to get on those other foods so uh i'm happy and i'm gonna have some coffee just to kind of wash everything down with um with some iodine drops and a splash of heavy cream so that's it guys and just wanted to say again seriously keep on trucking on trucking and let's let's get to like an inspirational quote what do you guys think because I, I think some of you guys like those i don't know what this is it's from walter anderson and it, it is it is only when we take chances when our lives improve the initial and the most difficult risk that we need to take is to become honest it is only when we take chances when our lives improve. The initial and the most difficult risk that we need to take is to become honest. Interesting. There's some deep thought for you. And we could probably spend some time breaking this down. I want to leave a lot of the interpretation up to you. For me, um, I think it's... You know, he's talking about, in my opinion, not just taking chances. Like, we do need to, like, you almost don't want to keep playing it safe. And I think sometimes it's a little bit like carnivore. It's like carnivore probably is a safe diet. But if we go by what we were programmed, then it seems risky. Like, oh, man, like, yo, he's going to eat all this meat and have a heart attack. That's the normal programming. So in a way, it's almost like I had to take a chance to improve my health. I had to just go for it and say, you know what, I'm, I'm just going to go for it and take that chance that it was going to work out. But he also has a second part that talks about the initial and most difficult risk is that we need take is to become honest. So I think, again, taking those chances, but keeping your integrity, right? So don't sell your soul. You know, trying to remain true to who you are, taking those risks, maintaining your dignity, your, your honesty. I think that's ultimately what saying that's just me that's just what i get from that either way that's today's inspirational quote i hope it helps you out and i will see you guys tomorrow remember keep it up you guys need to i gave you access to my information you need to get a hold of me email me or hit me up on messenger guys if i don't respond back to you right away i will i will get to you trust me but guys remember we'll see you tomorrow only like Three days away now um tomorrow will be three days away from our our next goal so see you tomorrow bye guys bye